What we're doing is we're uh, checking the uh, thermal situation for the satellite, make sure all the temperatures are correct, either for the batteries or for the tanks or the various different technical elements inside the satellite. We're also checking that the batteries are fully charged and that we're all ready for launch. So actually there's very little activity actually going on on the satellite at this point in time. We're ready for launch. Okay, so most of the work that's being done right now, there are two major things. First of all, the thermal control of the satellite. So the air conditioning systems, which are being supplied by Ariane Space, have to be absolutely correct. All the various different temperatures within the spacecraft have to be kept absolutely correct. And then we have to ensure that all the batteries, for example, are charged correctly and ready for launch. That's the most important thing that we're working on right now. If it, gets too, if it gets too hot or if it gets too cold, you may find the, uh, the battery is not correctly charged, much in the same way as your car battery may not be correctly charged when you're going for a long trip. So we, that's one of the major reasons. The other thing is we want to keep the fuel tanks at exactly the right temperature. So uh, when we actually have to use the fuel tanks and actually start firing the various different rocket systems on the spacecraft, that they will work correctly. There's a lot of preparation work actually takes place before we encapsulate the satellite on top of the uh, launch vehicle. So when the satellite arrives here in Karoo, there's a lot of preparation work to be done, a lot of checkout work to be done to make sure no damage has occurred during the transportation, to ensure that uh, it's fueled correctly, and then that the encapsulation, nothing has occurred to actually upset the satellite or whatever. So most of that work has actually been done. It's been done some, some days and weeks ago. We're actually entering what we call the LEOP, which is a launch and early operations phase of the satellite's life. And so this goes on for about another 10 days to two weeks. So after we've separated from the launch vehicle, we go through the transfer orbit. We then raise the orbit to geostationary. And then we will actually maneuver and drift this orbit, the, the, the satellite first to have its in-orbit testing to make sure that everything still works correctly. Then we have to go through all the various different deployments. We go through the solar panels, we go through the antennas and whatever to get it ready for, for operation. We're actually going to go through, obviously, the launch period itself and through the separation of the satellite from the launch vehicle. And that actually puts us into a, a transfer orbit, which basically has a, a, a low end nearest the Earth of around about 250, 300 kilometers and a high end of around about 32,000 kilometers. And that's when we actually separate from the vehicle and it throws us into this long elliptical orbit. At that point, then uh, we, we start to relax a little bit, but not so much because there's still a lot of work to be done. It's obviously a lot of work still to be done. We've got to go through the transfer orbit. We've got to get this thing into geostationary orbit. And then we have to get it into its correct orbital position. Then we have to deploy all the various different antennas, the solar arrays, etc. Well, they, we, we're, this is actually the second of uh, six launches that we are uh, having this year. Um, the satellites, all six satellites, basically have different jobs to do. Um, they'll be going to different orbital positions. Some of them, like uh, this particular one, Astro 1N, are probably uh, designed specifically for direct-to-home television. Some of the others are more for uh, telecommunications and point-to-point -point, uh, connectivity. So they're all doing different jobs at different orbital positions, but all fulfilling the, uh, the business of SES. Yeah, the business does continue to grow. There's no doubt about that. Um, we actually have 12 satellites under uh, procurement. So this is only part of that uh, overall uh, development phase that we have right now.